guys, how is it going? Um, today is the 9th of May and I thought I would just start another little vlog because I didn't do one um, last weekend, I forgot. Um, and not much happened I don't think, so I thought I would just come on and have a little chat. I am in my office which is also now looking like a baby's room. I got a new changing table with a sort of changing table on the top and then it's got three drawers. I got that from um, Gumtree, I think, for 30 quid, bargain. Um, that's my Moses basket from the girls. That was a fiver from a car boot sale. And that is the girls' cot. Um, it's a John Lewis cot. I bought it when I was pregnant with Mika. It's 99 pounds. They still sell it. It's the Alex cot. Um, it, the uh, bit where they sleep gets lower and then you can turn it into a cot bed after that as well. So that will have been used for all three babies. Um, we got this from a car boot sale for three quid. Ari calls it a baby carpet. There's a bath up there, which we got for three quid as well. Got a load of baby clothes from the car boot sale. So it's all coming together. I thought I would just come on and say hi. I am nearly 23 weeks now. Mum's coming round in about an hour and she's bringing our buggy, which is exciting. I found a second-hand buggy. Um, I am about to start preparing for maternity leave. And I know that sounds quite probably premature. It's probably the word that I'm thinking. But um, I want to try and build up. Cause my, I'm thinking for when I stop work because I'm going to have a month off. Um, a month off everything where I'll just like my Etsy shop will be closed YouTube will just have pre-recorded videos on it um, and so on so we're going to have like a month where we can I don't have to worry at all but then after that I'm taking maternity leave uh, where I'm I get maternity allowance because I am self-employed so my Etsy shop will carry on running but Ben and my mum are going to do the orders for me so I don't have to do it so I want to try and make as much stock as possible now and build up like a really good stockpile of cards so they can literally just address and send address and send and not have to there won't actually be any making being done that's my plan anyway but yeah I really need to get on and do it I've got a load of cards there I'm gonna do today I'm gonna do um, 50 of my new baby cards and then I think probably once a week until the baby's born I'll do like 50 or 100 of one particular kind of card because I generally there's about 15 cards I think I sell about 130 different kinds but there's about 15 that sell all the time so I'm going to make sure I've got like a really good stockpile of those ones ready for maternity leave that's the plan and I want to have it all done ready for 37 weeks because i want to be just in case he decides to come early like aria did so yeah 37 weeks is my goal which is in 14 weeks time some of the girls were arguing about they're playing duplo what's wrong she pushed you she not fall over apparently um, yeah, and I want to just try and get it ready so there's no stress. Once he arrives, we can just let everything run its course, that's the plan. I will film when mum gets here with the buggy, because I haven't even seen it yet. I've seen it online, but I haven't actually um, seen it in person yet. It's been in mum's boot for a couple of days, so we shall see what it's like. week and a bit whoo it's right in there it's like a week and a bit later from the previous section of this vlog but I just didn't get round to filming for whatever reasons 
What is this lizard doing? Look. What are you doing, you weirdo? Are you going to eat that salad or are you just going to chuck it about? What do you think? I'd appreciate it if you'd eat it. No? No? Weirdo. Um, yeah, so it's a week later. Maybe even a bit more than a week and a bit later. A week and a day later. I don't know. Um, but I thought I would show you the buggy that we got because I think when I was last filming, mum was going to come round with the buggy and she did. And then we had a really busy weekend and then I was really sick at the start of the week and I just haven't got around to filming. And as you can probably hear now, I've got a bloody horrible cold, um, which is just really pissing me off, which is making me sneeze all the time with a very sore throat. So I will show you the buggy. This, turn some lights on. Is it going to make any difference? Probably not. Um, so this is the buggy we got. Uh, it is the old version of the eye candy all-terrain that I wanted. Um, the new version looks exactly the same, apart from the front wheel you can remove and then you can have two wheels on the front rather than just one. This is just one wheel. Um, and this has come with the carry cot. Um, it's an all black frame, it's got a big basket underneath and it's a really, really good condition. Mum actually ended up buying this for us. It was £165, which is amazing. Um, and it also came with the push chair bit, so you just click this off. I'll try and show you now quickly, if I can. If I'll find somewhere to put my camera, I'll show you quickly how it does it, because it's so easy. Out of all the buggies I have had, this is by far the easiest to like click about and stuff. Excuse me, I've got leggings on and a jumper, so sorry about that. You basically just push these, lifts off um, and this is safe for overnight sleeping because it's vented in the bottom we do need to get a new mattress um, but it's vented in the bottom and it's got the little legs so you can put this on the floor and use it as a Moses basket which is amazing we got a rain cover with it and I'll try and show you the fold so your brakes here you put your brake on and you literally just do that and then and that is it it's so easy and this is why I love eye candy peaches because I don't know if all eye candy is fold like that but that's how my old peach did and then you've got the chair which just clicks on and you can tilt it downstairs maybe that's fine um so you can tilt it so it's reclined if you want to have a sleep this obviously isn't safe until the baby is like six months old but the girl's still fit in it you like sitting in it don't you hi and you like the baby's buggy Pinky. she's all in pink today and then are you coming down okay i'll come and find her in a minute um, you unzip the hood off this and then you just zip it on there. So you don't get two, you just get one. Um, I always prefer to have a bassinet just because when they're tiny, I just feel like it's better, it's safer, it's more comfortable for them, they need to be flat. So yeah, handle goes up and down. It's just all round, bloody lovely push chair. And for 165 pounds. we can have some great you want some grapes? Yeah, we can go get some grapes. That's fine. Grapes. Yeah, we'll get some grapes. Yeah. You gonna show everybody your new skirt? <laughs> so you got a new skirt from Asda. It's so pretty. <laughs> um, I need to go and get grapes for the girls, but I'll talk to you again in a little while. Right, the girls have got some grapes. I've just come upstairs because I need to have a bit of a sort out. This, that's the chair. I'm gonna put that in a duvet cover and then it's gonna go in the big cupboard in here. Hopefully that'll be okay. Oh, I'm just knackered. So out of breath all the time. Whew. Oh, that was a good angle. Um, 
yeah so this weekend what are we doing this weekend can you stand on that glossy box or are you just not gonna are you just not gonna yeah, you are. so this weekend we um well tomorrow me and rosie who's getting married in a few weeks are going to get our patch test done because i'm having my eyelashes lifted and tinted and she's having eyelash extensions that's what i'm getting her as a wedding present um because she already lived with her her bloke they've lived together for like i don't know 10 years they've got like an eight year old or nine year old um so they don't need any presents for the house but i wanted to get her something nice so i'm getting her her eyelash extensions for the wedding and then we're gonna have a barbecue tomorrow evening just me and ben and the girls and then Sunday, I think Ben wants to do something. I think he wants to take the girls to Sandringham to try and help them with their bikes because Mika loves riding her bike, but we haven't got a lot of patio for her to ride it on. And where we live, there's no pavement. It's all like dirt tracks and gravel, so she can't really ride her bike on that either. Um, but I don't know. It depends on the weather. So, yeah. I have got a load of stuff coming from ASOS in the next hour. I had stuff come from Next yesterday. Um, and it all was just horrible. It made me feel shit. I'm having a really bad body image time at the minute. And I wrote a blog about it because I was just, I feel like talking about it or writing it down helps me kind of process it. And so I did that. And um, I'm hoping this stuff from ASOS, something is better for the wedding. I can find something. I've got eight things coming today. So hopefully what, at least one of them will be nice. You'd hope out of eight things that one of them would be nice to wear for a wedding and not make me feel like a uh, fucking lumpy potato. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to need to do my makeup and stuff because I'm going to film a video on that later. But the next one will be up today, which is Friday. I don't know. I think this vlog will probably go up today as well. I'm not really sure. Maybe tomorrow. Um, I thought that was my neighbour. It's not. Um, I made a list of stuff we need to buy for the baby. All we need really is a pram, the um, mattress for the bassinet on the pram, a Moses basket mattress, a cot bed mattress, uh, cheeky wipes, because I'm 100% I'm 100 using cheeky wipes this time. It just really, really appeals to me. So um need to buy them. We need to buy the car seat, the base, and the adapters for the buggy. And I think that's it. Other than that... I'm not going to bother getting a breast pump or anything yet just because I don't know how it'll go. He might be like Aria and feed perfectly fine. Aria never had a bottle. She just went on the boob and um, didn't have a bottle ever. Whereas Mika was on the boob. And then I had to express because I got uh, an infection. No, I had to express because she wouldn't feed properly. And then I got an infection. And so I was having to express in hospital to sort of stop myself being engorged and then she ended up going on to formula and bottles anyway so i'm not going to buy anything until he's here like that because you just don't know do you he might feel like Ari, I think he might get here and i might decide i don't want to breastfeed so i'm not going to put any pressure on myself because the pressure that people put on themselves and midwives and doctors and everybody put on women to breastfeed is just ridiculous so yeah, obviously if you can, amazing. If you can't, who gives a fuck? As long as your baby's fed. One of my babies is booby fed, one of my babies is bottle fed. And they're both complete bell ends, but they're also perfect. So, yeah. Oh, I'm going to go and I will talk to you guys very soon. I will remember to take the camera out this weekend and actually film. I'll try and film when me and Rosie get our patch tests done. Um, and I think I'm allowed to film when she actually does the the lift as well which would be nice and i want to get a spray tan but i'm a little bit scared has anyone ever had a spray tan is it a good experience because i had one years ago and it was awful like i was this color and it was patchy and streaky and just bloody horrible so i'm a little bit nervous but i do want a tan for the wedding but i'm a little bit too scared to do it myself i mean i love my skinny tan um that I did on my legs that's amazing but I'm just a little bit nervous about doing it everywhere else and like putting it on my face so yeah 
spray tan I think might be the way as long as I don't end up like Ross because that although that would be hilarious I don't think I want to look like that for Rosie's wedding so yeah I'll see you all soon let me know how your week's been and I'll talk to you later bye guys